What's up friends, Durosai here. Hope you guys are staying creative. In this video, let's talk about kick drums. Obviously, kick drums are one of the most important parts of a dance track. You know, if you don't have your kick drum right, then your foundation's already screwed up and your song is not gonna hit. So, instead of trying to go through a million sample packs and trying to find the perfect kick drum, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take a bunch of different elements and take little parts that you like from each uh, element and combine them to make the perfect kick drum through a layering. So before I get into it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out some of my music, this song you're listening to right now, I actually just released on my label, Groove Estate Records, so go peep that. And yeah, let's get started. So the way I like to think of the kick drums is consisting of three parts, essentially your low, mid, and your high. And of course, that's gonna correspond to the different frequency ranges. So you got your low kick, I'd say, that's what I call it, and that's pretty much you know anything from about 120 hertz and down. And that's giving your punch what you feel on a big system. You got your mid, which is, that gives the audible weight of the kick and you got your top end, which is that high frequency that adds the presence. Now, not all kicks are gonna necessarily have like all three of these. So some might just have, you know, like a low in the mid or low in the high, whatever. But you, I, pretty much what I do is I take uh, the different parts of elements that I like and combine them to make a nice sounding kick. And most of the time, I just use an 808 or a 909 as the foundation. Not always, sometimes, you know, you do end up finding a good kick from a sample pack, but an 808 or 909, is just, they're just solid kicks, and that's why they're very popular. So right here, I have a 909 for my low kick. Let me play that. Pretty standard stuff. Now, the 909 already has a lot of these elements, like if we Go into a spectrum analyzer. You can you can see that it already has some you know mid presence, some high presence, but we want to add a little bit extra stuff to give it some body. So what I'm gonna do is add a nine or a, I'm at a 707 kick. So let's get a 707. I like that. I like that knock, that top end knock that the 707 has. So let me drag that into simpler. All right. Now, obviously I don't want the low end from this 707 kick, so I'm gonna cut that out. line up the transient and I think I'm gonna pitch this down so now we've added this like clicky knock to the 909 it's already changed the characteristics of this kick quite a bit so before and then after. So now we're getting kind of into a more like techno-y kick and we can do some more stuff with this by messing with the top end. So typically what I usually do is just add a hi-hat. Um, I find that to be pretty uh, useful as a top end part of the kick. It just gives that it allows it to cut through the mix a little bit better. And um, I don't know, just sounds good. All right, so I'm gonna go with this hi-hat right here. So I'm just gonna put the decay down. Let's see what this sounds like. So 
So yeah, now we have a completely different kick from what we started with. You know, you have obviously some of the resemblance from the 909, but we're adding a little bit more weight with the 707 and with this hi-hat. Um, let's just listen to it again. I'll just turn each, indi each individual element on. Cool. All right, now let's uh, let's try something new. I'm gonna take this off and let's try something with an 808. Put this back on simpler. Yeah, let's just grab an 808. So the 808 has a much different characteristic than the 909. Obviously, you know you can hear that. It doesn't have so much harmonics. It's a lot more uh, just subby and punchy. So it's really easy to manipulate the 808 in terms of layering because there's not much going on here besides that sub. So it makes a really good uh, just low end for a kick. So um, what I like to do sometimes is literally just add just the hi-hat to the 808. Let's grab a hi-hat. You know, I'll probably just uh, use that same one. Let me try this just to be different. I really like what a hi-hat does to an 808. Otherwise, the 808 just has like a little click to it, which sounds cool, but adding the hi-hat gives it a little bit more flavor. Does that make sense? This is pretty, this is pretty cool for uh, minimal kicks. And now you can, uh, we can try finding something that has a mid-presence. Um, just for shits and giggles, let's try putting a 909. Cause like I was saying earlier, the 909 has a nice uh, full sound to it. So maybe we can just take the mids from the 909. All right, that works. So I'm just carving out the frequencies that I want. Um, I don't really want the high end because I have that with this. Maybe they'll sound good. I'll try adding it back later. But let's see. I like the way that sounds, it's pretty subtle, but it gives the kick a little bit more weight. And, um, you know, once you have your layers uh, in place, and by the way, you can have, you know, more than three, obviously. Sometimes, you know, I might have four or five. Um, obviously, after a certain point, it gets a little too crazy, but, you know, whatever, whatever sounds good, right? That's, that's the rule in music. The only rule is if it sounds good, it's good. Um, but anyway, back to what I was doing. See, once you have this in place, it's a good idea to process these all together. So just put a drum bus on here. So. And yeah, that's uh, now we have another kick. Let's do one more for this video. Let me bring back the
the 909 and let's actually uh, put a, a low pass filter on it so we can just get the subby part because I really like the sub on the 909 as well. I mean, 808 and 909, like I said, they're just solid kicks. Pretty hard to go wrong with them. So, okay, got my 909 here. Let me take off drum bus. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna filter this down. So right now it sounds a little disconnected. It sounds literally like you just have a kick and a hat playing. It doesn't sound like one kick. So I think we need something to bridge the gap. Um, so I'm gonna try finding a click. Uh, maybe that will work, I don't know. It's all about experimentation. So let's see. So now what this has done is it's kind of bridged the gap between the kick, this low kick and the hat that's playing. So you don't have this, uh, what do you call it? It's not discontinuous where you have just your low end and then you have your high end. Um, this is playing the mid frequency. So you have a sort of uh, full sound that's going from the low frequencies all the way up to the high frequencies. And it's very important to tune your drums. If your drums are out of key, if these layers are out of key, then it's not going to sound like one kick drum. You're gonna have, it's just it's just gonna sound off. So um, definitely wanna play around with the pitch of the kick drums. Um, another thing for kick drum design is playing with the attack. I know most of the time, most of the time when I'm going for a punchy kick, I leave the attack at zero. But for certain tracks, um, you, you just want like a soft kick. You know, a lot of micro house tracks just have a very uh, soft kick that's kind of, it's not as forward as a bunch of other dance tracks. So for something like that, I would um, probably use an 808 and just ease up on the attack. So, okay, grab my good old friend 808 here. Let's just line up this transient. And then, yeah, just ease up on this attack. So this is more of just a soft kick. Um, and again, you can layer this with say the hat. So if you watched my organic minimal house drums video, um, the, the kick that I use in that track is pretty similar to this. I used an 808, um, like in a very, very soft 808 layered with a hi-hat. And you know, this is one way to do it. Um, there's also, you can just grab it from a sample pack, but yeah, I, sometimes a really soft kick, uh, sounds classy in a track, something that's not super 
banging. So if you want to do that, this is one way to do it. Um, again, you could add your mid kick again. And because this is softer, I'm, you know, really turning down the levels on all these um, other layers. But yeah, there you have it. That's how I approach kick design through layering. Hope you found this helpful. Leave a comment below if you want to see some other video ideas. I'm always looking for new stuff to go over. Um, check out some of my music. Like I said, follow me on Instagram. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out, y'all.